This is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back with quick hits. Um, Shakur Stevenson put on a show, but not only that, uh, Top Rank has some stable fighters. Um, we didn't even get to see Duke Reagan. We didn't get to see um, Xander Zayas, but we got to see a, a ton of their young fighters. And man, is Top Rank in good shape. We're going to get into all of that. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Uh, also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, Texas Boxing Scene on um, YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. Um, Shakur Stevenson just put on a 10 out of 10 performance. In the second half of that fight, really from the third round on, the first round, nothing happened. The second round, I thought Contesia won. He landed some clean shots. Both guys did good work. Uh, but after that, from the third round on, and specifically in the second half of the fight, Shakur Stevenson didn't just throw a shutout. I mean, he dominated him. And, and Contesia, I, I think, is a really good fighter. I mean, clearly not good enough. But it, it, at 130, Contesia is going to have a run. You know, he, he destroyed Xavier Martinez, who I think is a really good fighter. You know, um, I, I thought he beat Valdez, and then he's got the win over uh, Korea, Louis uh, Korea in, in the bubble um, last Halloween. So this is a guy with good wins. He's a really skilled fighter, deep amateur pedigree, um, a good fighter. Like, I, at one thirty, he's going to be on a short list of, of of guys, right? Like he's a really good one thirty pounder, and Shakur Stevenson. The second half of that fight was playing with him. He was landing what he wanted to, when he wanted to, right? He was mixing up the left hand. I'm throw uppercut. I'm gonna throw a shovel. I'm just gonna throw whatever I want right now, and it's gonna land, and you're gonna miss, right? It was it was like a um, sparring session with someone you completely overmatch. You could do whatever you want with that, and that's basically what he did, right? I mean. In the second half of that fight, and again, that's Robertson Casasia, somebody I think and most people think beat Valdez, who has a, a, a really good fighter. Um, he's going to be an absolute problem at 135. And we're going to get to that, right? I, I, the only name I see at 135 is Tank Davis. That's the name we got to look at. Tank Davis at 135. Um, Tank Davis. You know, obviously explosive, powerful, come forward, seek and destroy, destroys everything in the sight type of fighter. And now we're seeing Sakura Stevenson. You know, Sakura Stevenson is a master, you know, technician, a clinician in the ring, right? Like he puts on an absolute clinic every time he's in there, picks it perfect. He hits you, you can't hit him, and destroy. Now he's getting more aggressive. He's sitting down in the shots, he's coming forward, he's taking more shots, and you still can't hit him. Um, I, I mean, Shakur Stevenson versus Tank Davis might be the best fight boxing can make. From an entertainment standpoint, from a skill standpoint, from, from, from an action standpoint, that fight is can't miss. I, I don't know who I would take. I really don't. But that's the fight that, I mean, I, that that's a 10 out of 10 that fight. Um, I, I want to cover the rest of the card too. Because, I mean, look, there was a ton of really good competitive fights. Um but there are really good fighters. Uh, Keyshawn Davis fought the co-main event. Man, is he good. I mean, everything he throws is pinpoint accurate, on point, right? He throws it with power. I I, I, I tweeted, it, he looks like Jacob DeGrom out there, you know, the Mets pitcher, right? Like he hits corners, but he's everything hard, right? There's nothing soft. Everything is coming in, right? There's pop on everything. Um, and then – you know, he looked like Terrence Crawford finishing. Once Davis had his man hurt, it was seek and destroy. It was get your man out of that time. I mean, he, he he unleashed with accuracy and got him out. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to 
kind of draw a comparison to Keyshawn Davis. He might be one of one. Um, then uh, also um, on the card, you had Henry LeBron. He looked good. He looked good. Good good skills. Uh, but then you had Jahai Tucker and Bruce Carrington. New York boxing is back, right? Uh, Jahai Tucker, I think, um, eight fights into his career is a much better prospect at 147. Because remember, Zander Zayas started at 147. than Zander Zayas was. Bruce Carrington, much, much, much smaller, right? 126. Featherweight prospect. Better prospect than Zander Zayas. Uh, Bruce Carrington and Jahai Tucker are going to be world champions in the relative near future, right? I, I, Carrington may be real soon, uh, but Tucker's soon. So I, I think I don't, you know, Carrington's got less fights um, than Tucker, but Carrington is so good. Sushu, um, he's already 25, so he's physically – we can move him quick. Like, I really think we can move Carrington quick. Um you know, Jahai Tucker is is, is younger. Uh, he's only 19. You know, he's got more fights, but he's, he's younger. He's a kid. And he still has a way to go. Um, but you know, there hasn't been a really, really great fighter from the New York City area in a long time. There's been good ones. Paulie, Danny Jacobs. You know, there's been good ones. Uh, but there hasn't been a great one. We have two of them. And Tucker and Carrington, who could be great ones. Um Jahai Tucker is going to make this 147-pound um, division real interesting. You, you know, uh, it's just Virgil and Boots may be out, but you're going to have Jahai Tucker surging in into that spot within, you know, a, a couple of years or, two, you know, maybe two years. He's, he's going to be ready for the top 10. He's that good. Um, that guy looks really, really good. Hopefully at some point he gets to take apart Chris Algieri, right? Uh, you know, maybe a Long Island, old Long Island fight. Uh, but Jahai Tucker looks like a future world champion. And Bruce Carrington, forget about me. Like, it's time to move him along so quickly. I want to see Bruce Carrington fight for a world title. End of 2023. Yeah, end of 2023. I want Bruce Carrington to fight one more time this year. Fight three times next year. And, and your fourth fight, fight for a world title. I, I think he's that close. Like, I know it sounds insane, but B Bruce Carrington is, is ready, man. Like, what don't you like about Bruce Carrington? Um, I think you got two world championship fighters there. And I think in Carrington, you may have something truly, truly special, you know, like you do in Keyshawn. You know, um, but look, top rank is loaded right now with really good fighters. Um, Bob Aram is going to go out on top. I, I think he has the best young stable of fighters in the, in, in the sport. Top rank is uh, is in really is in top in tip top shape. Top rank's in good shape with Carrington. You know we didn't even get Duke Reagan. Um, I'm, not, I'm not disrespecting the Zayas, but I'm just saying they as good as the Zayas is and he's excellent. I think Carrington, I think Tucker, and obviously Keyshawn Davis are all better prospects. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts. Comments below. Were you as impressed with uh, Stevenson and those prospects as I am? Do you agree that Stevenson and Tank Davis is perhaps the best fight that can be made in the sport of boxing? Um, please like, share, and subscribe. It is September 24th. Oh, uh, yes, it is September 24th from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.